And how you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo... I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFN. We go five days a week, we go 10 hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We hit the Dow Industrials up 115, NASDAQ up 87, S&P's up 15 and a half. That was a gain of 1.1% in the NASDAQ, 7 tenths in the S&P, 4 tenths in the Dow Industrials. Gold contract, gold contract up 80 cents trading at 12.97 an ounce. Silver, flat, $14.80 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 44 cents, $62.21 a barrel. Notes and bonds, guess what? It's the Groundhog Day, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line is that they want higher price, lower yield, yet volume behind the move. This was kind of move my, uh, quite a move last night, too, by the way. We had the 10 year up 12 ticks, 124.22. 30 year up 24 ticks, 149.30. And if you get over and we take a look at this 10 year first, what you're going to see is that. Um, this is for the past 12 months. This is the low uh, inside of the bond market. Uh, bottom line is that you're up 12 ticks. You've done 1.7 million contracts. You're finished at the high of the day. Now, this is going after the 124.31, folks. Um, and this is the way that you can break highs or break lows. And specifically what it is is this. As you're coming up to the high, you get that expansion of volume. And you can see uh, how we did this. You know, if we go back to last Friday and Thursday, thir last Thursday, it's pushing on 2.1 million. Friday, it's pushing on 2.4 million. Monday, we do 1.8. Now, we back down yesterday as the market goes higher, right? Now, watch this. You back down and go sideways with 1.3. Guess what? Last night, and this is what's really cool about not only the bond market, but the market in general right now. This market in general, the bond market is saying that these S&Ps are going to go right back downtown. This market right here, this is pushing into these highs, and it has juice behind the move. Now, if we take a look at this and we do, let's see, I can do the generic one. Okay, so if I bring up the Treasury and the generic one or the continuous contract, well, and I'm going to put this on a weekly. Yeah, this is pretty intense, man. So the way this is set up right now is that this is set up that we can make a run to 128. See, we're at 124, and 124, you're, you're in a supply line, but you've already dug through quite a bit of that supply line. That supply line goes back from 2016 going all the way over to 2017. This looks to me like we're going to be up in this uh, 128 area. If we do go take a look at and this is what will end up happening here. Uh, we're going to do the, I'm going to do the yield on this now. Uh, what you're going to see is that we hit a low yield for the year today. Uh, we hit, um, well, actually, it's a 3.3384, 3 3.3384, 3 yeah, 5.9, yeah, we did, 3.359, 3 3.3, no, 3, okay, the, the low for the year Last March, March of uh, no March of this year. That was the low for the year. Anyway, uh, we're at three two. Uh, I'm sorry, two point not three. We're at two point three six seven nine. And if we take this and you put this out a little bit further, you're going to see what's wide open. What's wide open right now is two point zero one, and that's where I expect we're going to be going because you have conviction behind the move. You have wide price spread behind the move. You have all of the above behind the move. Excuse me, folks. King dollar. King dollar up 73 ticks, trading 97,395. You got the euro trading at 112 to 1 US dollar. 
The yen is at 109.58 to one U.S. dollar, and the pound is at 128. If we go over to the yen, we take a look at the yen. What you're going to see with the yen right now, uh, this yen keeps getting stronger. Uh, bottom line, we're down from three weeks ago at 112. You've been building cars at this 109.61. It looks like the, the, what you do have a game is 104. That was a high spike down. Cisco. So let's go take a look at Cisco. Cisco come out with numbers. Cisco closed at $52.44. That's trading at $54.24. So that is a $2 pop. We know I thought it was going to go down. Uh, bottom line, two bucks. We are 54. So we're back to uh, May 7th. It's coming into the May 7th area. Let's see what Cisco has to say here. So Cisco, the estimate. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Revenue, the estimate had been $12.87 billion. They did $12.96 billion. Earnings per share estimate was $0.77. Cents. They did $0.78. So they beat bottom and top. Uh, going into the fourth quarter, their estimate is $13.3 billion. That was the estimate. Now they're looking at $13.2 to $13.5. And they are trading up uh, 2 bucks. Well, uh, a buck eighty right now. You're up uh, fifty-two dollars, uh, fifty-four dollars twenty-one cents. We go take a look at King Dollar. Would you, would you have a King Dollar? King Dollar held price up here. Uh, King Dollar had some volume up here. Let me see this. We did think, yeah, you did thirteen thousand contracts. You're trading at ninety-seven four hundred. The number on King Dollar, folks, is ninety-seven seven zero five. That's what would get it back outside of its uh, higher range. King Dollar's had a hard time uh, hanging out there. The TLT, the 20-year ETF uh, fund, bottom line, yeah, see, this is going to bust through, man. This did 9 million shares, and it's coming. Look at this. So the last high out here in the uh, TLT was 9.1 million shares. That price, the low of the high is 126.01. The high is 126.69. Today we did 9.5 million. You're going into 9 million. This wants to bust out. This wants to bust out. This is going to be wild watching this thing shake out, man. So let's see where this wants to go. Yeah, see, this is where this gets interesting. So we've been in this consolidation for so long. We've been in this consolidation, folks, since 2016. November of 2016, which totally makes sense, by the way, because, you know, what we had is that we had interest rates that were going down, uh, interest rates that were going up, rather, since, you know, Bottom line, you know, we bring we bring this back. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the the low on interest rates go all the way back to 2016. Um, then to 20 the, the the beginning of 2016, we start going up on rates. We kind of went sideways. We peaked on rates in November of 2018, and we've been going down since then. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.